<laughs> and then I remembered, well, I'd actually written a letter like that once. Um, it wasn't to a presidential candidate. It was to musical theater composer Stephen Schwartz. I wrote him a fan letter, and I don't remember exactly how it went, but it went a little something like this. Dear Stephen, my name is Sarah Krauss, and I'm a freshman at NYU studying musical theater. I have been a huge fan of you since kindergarten when I used to sing just around the river bend every day in the bathroom. <laughs> I love Pippin, and now I am completely obsessed with Whitney. I think you are one of the greatest composers of all time. The reason I'm writing you today, though, is because I really think you need to adapt the book Tuck Everlasting into a musical. It's magical and sweet and so profound. And I know it would be a huge hit. So I've enclosed the book, read it, get back to me, and let me know what you think. <laughs> If you ever need somebody to be Pocahontas on Broadway, I'm your girl. <laughs> Guys, he wrote me back. Oh. And this is what it said. It said, <laughs> Dear Sarah, thank you so much for the copy of Tuck Everlasting. I read it on my most recent plane trip, and I agree with you that it is a wonderful book. I did find the ending a bit frustrating, though, as of course I wanted Winnie to get together with Jesse, but I didn't see why they couldn't have just saved some of the water instead, but I understand that from a literary point of view, that's the right end. <laughs> um, I don't know whether there's a musical in it, but I'm so glad to have read it, and now it's in my mind, so you never know what that will be. I wish you the best at your studies at NYU, which as you know is a great school. I'm sure our paths will cross again, and I look forward to it when they do. Best, Stephen. <laughs> when I look the most about the Mercedes, you can't step in the same river twice. The water's always changing, always flowing. But people, I guess, can't live like that. We all must pay a price. To be safe, we lose our chance of ever knowing. Should I marry you? 